Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Scary Muffin here, and we are going to do something a little different today. Uh, we are going to take a look at something I'm really excited about, Hero Block City. Um, and the reason I say that, I was actually watching, let me just move this mic closer to my mouth. I'm actually recording with uh, Hypercam today instead of Fraps because Hypercam can record this while Frap can't record this. Anyways, um, I was watching a couple of Yogg's cast and Captain Sparkle's playthrough um, the Red Merc mystery, and I was absolutely mind blown by how gorgeous and how uh, innovative the whole thing was, and a little bit jealous too because the stuff that I was doing with Escape Craft Duel, it was just like, yeah, I'll just throw something together, whatever, spend like less than an hour a day working on it, um, and yeah, it, it really kind of got me kind of got me sad because I, I knew that Escape Craft Duel wasn't gonna be this amazing big thing, but luckily. Today, Scott, uh, or my line is 12, rather, he uh, got a hold of me on chat. <coughs> Excuse me. He got a hold of me on chat, and he reminded me that, hey, I'm still working on this really, really crazy project called Hero Block City. And uh, I promised I'll get this done for him today, so I thought, why don't I record this as well so you guys can kind of see what we've been working on. This is uh, GIMP, which is a uh, art program artsy fartsy program kind of like photoshop i guess it's free so i'm just using it um what you see here is basically uh what i have planned for hero block city so far um it is not like the end product there's still more stuff to be you know we got a hermit uh you know got a hermit living in the forest somewhere got some mountains got a nice big park with a conservatory, a business district, a giant uh, zombie defense wall. Um, if you guys don't know what Hero Block City is, it is basically uh, the spiritual successor to Escape Craft. We're never going to really connect, or at least not now, connect the story between Escape Craft and Hero Block City, but uh, essentially you guys end up in, <clears throat> um, in the city after escaping, and there's a whole bunch of people who are survivors, and they're in this... Uh, abandoned city um, left with Hero Brian's uh, weird experiments gone awry. So every night there's zombies and skeletons and creepers roaming around, and you gotta hide around. There will be no trees, so you can't get wood, but you'll have to scour the different houses and stuff like that, find shelter, find tools to use. Um, in the town hall area over here, so there's a spawn, which will be a little plaza. There'll be a giant statue of Tech Rocket riding on Subject 1089 because he won the speed uh, running contest. And uh, in the town hall, you'll see remnants of previous uh, survivors who, who had somehow disappeared. And the previous survivors were making plans on things that they wanted to do to revitalize the city. Uh, so if you look at it, you'll have little hints of places that you can visit in town, uh, things that you might want to try to do, or you can just go ahead and do whatever you want. This, of course, is going to be a multiplayer game. It's going to be fantastic. Let me show you something really cool. We're going to go to view here, and we're going to say show grid. Oh my god, everything disappeared. What happened? Let's zoom in, about 400. Bam! That's what happened. Each one of these tiny little squares, I don't even know if you guys can see this because it's so minute. Let's go to 800 times each one of these tiny little squares here represents a single block in minecraft that's right i'm planning it down to every freaking block in case you're wondering uh let's go back to 100 percent here and let's take off grid in case you're wondering this game is going to be more than 1000 times 1000 um so uh, 1000 blocks across 1000 across that may not seem that big to some of you guys but Trust me, just walk a thousand. Turn on your F3 and walk 1,000, walk 1,000 the other way. And you can see that that's a really big freaking deal. Um, we have we have main streets. I, I've been naming the streets. So we have main street, obsidian, you know, netherrack, adamantite, diamond, gold, yada, yada, yada. Okay, um... I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing that I'm, I'm supposed to do now, which keep talking while I'm doing it, and... Uh, just because this this is a really super exciting project for me, and so yeah, <laughs> working on this makes me happy right now. So I, I'm sorry for those of you who are hoping for um for another let's make escape craft duel, but I'm just gonna work on this today because I promise Merlin is told I'll have this done so that oh yeah the other thing is is that uh, we know this is a pretty huge deal and a pretty huge project and we have 
has started asking people to help us out um, with this project. If you are interested, um, we will be making an official post at one point. And oh goodness, Hy Hypercamrix is a little bit funky when I'm working on this. Um, so if you see me doing something weird, sometimes it's, it's not my fault really. It's Hypercam. Um, but yeah, we will be asking people to fill out and help us out. What I'm doing here is I'm actually um, making lots. So these green and yellow are, are the same thing. Um, they're different houses. And uh, they seem kind of long and narrow, but the whole point of that is because you're going to have your front lawn, backyard, your garage, right? So um, your houses should not be tapered off to the side. We're actually going to have like building regulations. Uh, it's going to be color coded, hopefully. Um, and yeah, let's see. I'm just trying to think. I, I I'm basing this city roughly, ever so roughly, on my hometown, Vancouver. Represent and um. Let's see, do I really want to have houses all the way down there? Maybe, maybe I do. Uh, let's just do it anyways, just because I'm crazy like that. I'm Sven, we're doing the architectural design of the city. Um, so yeah, it's going to be color coded hopefully. These are your regular regulation size houses. We have slightly bigger houses here, and I'm actually going to change the color of these. So I was using green and yellow. Um, that's actually hard to remember for me. I should have used green and red. That's a little bit easier to remember because uh, they're complementary colors. Complementary colors. Um, yeah, basically we'll be doing roads. I will show you this kind of. Uh, you know what? Uh, at the end of this video, I'll do a little tour of what we have built so far. So everything on this map uh, that you see has already been built, except for the lot markers. Um, but the streets have been done. The intersections haven't been done be just because we haven't decided uh, some places we might want um, certain things. So, so you see these are like intersections with the crosswalks and stuff like that, and these ones have no intersection. I didn't put intersections in just because it's easier to copy and paste uh, without the intersections. Anyways, I'm just going to color this in. Let's pick a ever so normal red color. Yeah. And... Uh, shoot, loop. There you go. Now it will let me color the yellow. Oh, that's why I didn't choose red. It's because everything else I did was in red. Hmm. I'll have to recolor those words later, or move this somewhere else. Whatever. No biggie. Yeah, we're gonna have to give addresses to these lots when we start assigning them out. That way it'll just make more sense. And let's pick a really regular blue for that. That way we have different colors. Oh, there's no orange here. I have to make my own orange. That kind of sucks. Uh, color wheel. Let's choose the orangey orange. Okay. Uh, so these are slightly bigger houses, and I'm thinking maybe two or three big friggin' mansions as well. Uh, that may take up like the whole block. I uh, haven't really decided. Here's a high school. Um, there'll probably be a church near one of these schools too, I think. This zone here is going to be a little bit tricky. Um, but I think the back of the zone for sure, I'm going to make it into uh, the same as this. And yeah, some of these things I am kind of just winging it because um, I'm no city planner. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'll do my best. And I figured, yeah, there you go. Perfect. I'll t I'll, oops. I wanted to use this, yes. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. How interesting. Um, the blocks, in case you're wondering, are about uh, 80 by 80, but apparently it's not precise. At least sus, unless, unless Hypercam is making a fool out of me once more. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Let's bring it over here. It's just really hard to view it. Nope, looks like we're a little bit off. Whatevs. I'll leave it for that, for like that for now. Um, and I want duplexes here. Let's see. So we're doing 80 by 80. I figure two duplexes? That may be not enough. Um, maybe a regular house and then two duplexes and we'll make the duplex zone 
a little bit bigger, like two of these. Um, so actuality, let's let's get rid of that because that thing was really messed up anyways. Let's copy this whole thing. So yeah, blocks are 80 by 80, and um, there's no real reason why we chose that number. Why why is it only like this right now? That's very peculiar. Uh, zoop. Right. GIMP is not a perfect tool. I'm no expert. I use random stuff. Um, what was really cool was the um, was the coder code warrior guy. He was uh, chatting with me the, today a little bit on YouTube, and uh, he's the guy who did MC Edit, and he was really cool. Gave me some tips on keyboard shortcuts, not keyboard shortcuts, but uh, brushstroke shortcuts. Whoops, I, I wanted 90. Can I have 90s, please? Thank you. And we'll move ya. Huh. I guess this block is a little bit bigger. I did not even realize. It's not precise, guys. <laughs> I do my best, but I'm not precise. Um, what color should we use for for duplexes? Let's go with purple and yellow. Sounds fun by me. Here's the yellow. And I got to click somewhere to set it down. And we'll make that yellow, and we'll use purple. For the other one, pinkish? No, purple. Yeah. Bloop, 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 doo -doo. Okay, so that's a duplex, and and a little measly house on the corner. Or maybe I should put the measly house in the middle. That actually makes a little bit more sense. Let's put the measly house in the middle. So he's kind of wedged between two duplexes. <clears throat> um, yeah, and I want duplexes on the other side too. Hell yeah. Give that to me. Hmm. So this is a main road here. Oh, that's the big main road. Uh-oh. I actually... This is actually where I wanted the duplex to be over here because that's the main road this is main street it's a main road but this is a pretty big street too what is this called Ammonite street yeah it's a pretty big street it's got Ammonite in it um of course they won't actually have Ammonite on it i'm just saying that because I'm, I'm silly um it's just called Ammonite street and i put them roughly in an order so it's easy to remember and what i kind of want to do is uh when people are playing with their friends they can actually just give the street name where they are and in case they need to find each other. I, th I figured that would be kind of cool. It's kind of cool, right? Um, so yeah, uh, some of the things that we have planned, since there's no trees, um, one of the quests, of course, is to go find a sapling. And I won't tell you where it is, but yeah. Um, there's also like, we'll have uh, secret layers of Herobrine somewhere and there'll be things like, you gotta spend um, time in there, and the longer you stay there, the, uh, like there'll be like a random dispenser that will shoot out items at you, and um, for every few second, every like few seconds that you stay in there, it will shoot out an item, and you can grab that item. Uh, but there will be like lots of monsters uh, spawners there. Plus, it's hard to get to the lair, so not only do you have to like deal with the monsters and decide how long you want to stay in the area, but you also have to. Uh, you also have to be able to get to the lair and back safely as well. And I have in mind um, one of the things is that we're going to put this uh, outlet mall way out of the way. And uh, can I do it like a flip? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Kablip. And uh, we're going to have this outlet mall way out of the way that will have like iron tools. And everyone was like, oh my god, iron tools. I can't believe it. We can finally get some good stuff. Um, and but the, the way you get there is you have to cross this really long desert uh, on the highway right because you don't got cars so you got to take the highway and i'm going to make it kind of like a left for dead style where there'll be safe houses along the way so you can rest up uh heal whatever and then try to make the rest of the journey but yeah it'll be good times it'll be good times guys you'll, you'll have fun I promise i promise 
Um, let's put the church over here, and I'm just going to use text for that. Uh, screw it. I don't know if you like labeling it too much. Actually, churches shouldn't be... I mean, yeah, churches are big, but we're not going to make this church particularly that big. I'm just going to put it next to the major road, I think, and then align the other side with houses. Again, I'm just kind of half half assing it a little bit. Whoops. Please stay with me. Yes, thank you. Um, I don't know what color we should use for a church. And and I mean, it's a church, but it could be like a Buddhist temple or a synagogue or um heck, yeah, even even a church of Scientology. But a church of Scientology will probably be a commercial building. Um, at least that's the one in Vancouver is a is a big giant commercial building, very scary and, and um yeah, I'm not going to say too much cuz I'm scared of those guys. <laughs> um yeah, so I'm not going to have a thing here, but what I will have is this. I'm just going to replace that there. And of course, oh god, come on. There you go. Uh, no. Yeah, you know you want to go there for me, baby. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah. Uh, around the town hall, I wanted to have like a commercial zone-ish thing. Uh, that's what this big block is. Um, we were debating on whether we wanted hills and stuff in the town. Uh, hills would make it a lot harder to build. So we ended up flat round. But the problem with uh, flat ground is that you can stand on one side and kind of see pretty far, far, far away. And it ruins... Um, the image of a city when it, when you can see from one end of the city to the other end of the city um, So what we ended up doing is we started breaking up the blocks a little bit so every major road uh, hits like a T intersection and That way it'll break up sight lines. You can see that here. We have this hitting the sight line and this one hits a commercial plaza um, yeah, in case you guys are wondering, Main Street here um, corresponds to Canby Street in Vancouver. If you are interested in like kind of building something, it, it doesn't hurt to take a look to do um, a street walk of Vancouver, Canada, and uh, see how some of the some of the city is set up. Um, how big do I want these commercial buildings to be set up? How big? That is the question. We do want to have a big black bar go across the black bar is the alleyway naturally um, how did I do the, uh, the black bar last time whatever I'll just copy and paste like I do everything copy and pasting do 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 um, if you guys never seen how a city map is broken down by the city it's actually kind of cool uh, I've, I've seen one on several occasions and they basically break down a city into building types and that's essentially the same thing what we're doing here uh, with these color coded things but instead of color like they have color codes on some of them um, but they also have like lettering on all of them so they would uh, label like this is a commercial building commercial type one to five and then um, in another piece of paper, they'll, have, they'll label like what exactly constitutes as a commercial type building. Um, I'm gonna have lots of little shops here. I want to have tons. We have the see, we have 80 plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I can't even count this. Yeah. So 88. Uh, what divides easily into 88? We have eight, but that will give us 11 shops. That's probably a little too much. Um, I figure. Maybe um, about 10. 10 would be good. But then that means we have to make them 9s. If we make them 9s, then one of them would be a 7. Or we have two 8s. Okay. Yeah, I can work with that. Let's just make the 2 in the middle a little bit smaller. And uh, give the corner ones some space to work with. And do we have a square tool here? Yes, I think this is a square tool, right? I actually haven't used this too often, <laughs> and I'm just kind of fiddling around with this now. Um, what do I want to be the color for shops? We need two colors again. Uh, we can use but ugly brown. Yeah, let's just do that first. 
This is totally not a square, I think. Woo! Yeah, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Whatever. We'll just go with the pencil. I'm going to go with the pinprick. Okay, so we're going to make these nine deep. One, two, three, four. This is much harder than counting an MC edit, I tell you that. Oh, and I can't even make a tiny little mistake. Give me a break. Let's zoom in. Hello, big city. You are, you're going to be my pride and joy. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Actually, this is really tiny. What am I thinking about? Um, let's make these 11s. 11s, that way we'll have 8 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's still really tiny. Huh. That is actually puny. We have 15 for that. <clears throat> um, it should be at least 15. And for storefronts, you can obviously build straight to the edges. Not all stores are that big, though, if I remember correctly, especially not on Canby Street. Most of them are have a pretty small shop front. <clears throat> I'm just wondering if 11 really is the best number here, because it's going to be really long. I mean, yeah, we can have parking in the back, but it's going to be a little bit weird. I mean, this one I could divide like this, yeah, but hmm. Pondering, pondering. If I go 12s, I can build seven of those, and then I will have about four spaces left over of garbage space. That's not good. Uh, 11 in game is not that much. Just bleh, like that. Yeah, definitely we got to be at least 15. If we go 15, we can fit five in there, 75, and that'll leave us with a nine to shove in the middle somewhere. Um, let's see, we go 16, 16, 64, 80. So we can build five and that'll leave us eight. And let's just go with 15 for now. So that's uh, 11, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They'll be roughly the same size as houses, but they'll be built differently. Um, I mean, we can tweak this along the way, depending on how things look. Of course, one of the big things when people are building is um, we really want to deny people of wood. And it's really important that that people do not build using wood. Of course, you can use uh, you can use what's it called? Fill in, please. Thank you. You can use uh, wooden half steps and you can stack two of them together and that will give you basically a piece of wood. Wood. Oh, you who would say that? Wouldn't you? Um, I wonder if I do this and then switch my color to... I wanted to use green again, but we'll have to use ugly green. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So yeah, we're hoping for a really nice diverse city so that like not everybody's building with the same material of stone and whatever, what have you. Uh, of course, people will be allowed to break through the city. Um, I said there was going to be eight, right? Plus one more. I can't remember what I said anymore. Let's just stack them like this for now and then we can move them. I oh, can have this one be a big one, sure. Big friggin' big one. Bam! Like that. Corner store. That's why I call it the corner store. And it's at the really big area anyway, so uh, right next to the spawn. It doesn't hurt. Okay, let's zoom out here. So it's looking a little bit more like a city right now, which is great. 
And I'm just going to copy this. I hope you guys, I hope, I hope my description of this is it's making you guys excited because it is also, it is going to be an awesome game. Um, it'll be something that you can uh, throw up on your multiplayer server and have everybody just kind of work together and you know go through the various optional quests and attempt to uh, beat. Not really. I mean, there's no. It's an endless game. Um, like there's no you win big explosion with credits kind of thing uh, <clears throat> I wonder what I'm referring to right there's there's not going to be any of that but uh, there, there will be a point where um, your city is going to be like filled with grass and greens and you're going to be like wow we have we made this really like, ugly city like this really barren city that didn't even have water running through it um, we're going to have False Creek, which is an actual river or inlet or whatever in uh, Vancouver. False Creek is going to be a little bit south of this. And originally, when you first start the game, False Creek is going to have uh, <clears throat> nothing except like a tiny little trickle of lava going through it. And one of your quests um, would be to find a way to break open the dam and flood in water. Um, of course, we're going to have natural barriers around the area. Uh, I'm planning to... I'll show you guys. Um, I'm planning to. <laughs> it looks like a clown. Uh, up here will be the desert, going to the outlet mall. Uh, on to the east side, there's going to be the open water, uh, which is a really big ocean, basically. And I'll probably put some markers far, far away in that ocean, saying um, "turn back" or else you'll die or something. I have no idea. Um, down south, it's going to be False Creek, and then like really huge mountains blocking your way. And then over on the west side is going to be this really big freaking um, bedrock wall. And it's basically uh, the Cumberland zombie defense system wall that has been erected to prevent, uh, to quarantine the city. And that will just block people from being able to leave the city. Uh, let's see, I will say, I'm going to say church here, right? I, I totally forgot to label that as a church. So let's go do that right now. And I haven't decided what color I wanted to make the church. Everything must be the color coded. Um, what color have I not used? I don't want to use gray. That's kind of drab. Uh, if I think church, I think blue. Sure. Yeah. Let's just go with that. Bing. Blue. Thank you. Come again. And that's the high school. Let's just take these and just copy that for now so when people start helping us out um, we're gonna ask them to build houses first because we as you can see really need lots of houses and as we inspect your stuff and you know build up some trust um, we will we're planning to move people up a, a builder status level and what that basically means is that you can start to uh, build for the other parts of the town, you know, like a, a shop or eventually there's going to be commercial, this is a commercial district over here on the left side. Gold Street and Iron Street are going to be uh, commercial areas, so they're going to be tall skyscrapers, office buildings, um, the chapters, or I guess you guys would call it uh, Barnes and Noble. And yeah, it's going to be all that good stuff. Uh, this is not going to be houses. I haven't decided what I'm going to do here. Probably going to be a bunch of small shops, but I haven't decided exactly what to do here. Um, this plaza, I know what I want to do with, but I haven't decided what I want to do with this. Oh, oh, this one, I could just use one of these. It seems longer somehow. Strange. It must be the intersection. They're screwing me over. I'll just copy that. And so yeah, just gonna plop that down here. Just roughly, roughly divider markers. 
and I've had to put up a legend later. Can't really decide. Do I want another freaking church? No, I don't want to. I don't want to surround a high school with churches. That'd be kind of weird. Um, but it wouldn't hurt to put a community center there. Did I? Did I have a community center over here, or a library maybe? This is a museum, library, and park combo. Kind of makes sense. I'm I'm thinking here. Um, if you guys have ever been to London, they have this like one giant, big ass block with four museums on each corner. I'm thinking something like that, maybe just like half park and then the museum here and then a library here. Um, alternatively, we can just change the whole thing into uh, a really really small park and a replica of the uh, actual central library in Vancouver. Um, but the central library in Vancouver is like. Um, it's, in, it's built to look like a, a Roman Colosseum kind of thing. Um, if somebody is willing to tackle that, by all means, uh, go for it. And yeah, you have a lot of space to build it. You can take a look. Again, Streetwalk Vancouver, uh, if you want to take a look at some of the landmarks in this town, I would absolutely love it if people would um, recreate some of the landmarks. Not necessary, but it would be nice. Um, yeah, let's throw a community center in here. Shouldn't hurt. And these, you know, this is moving, uh, because the houses are getting bigger, this is moving towards a richer area of the town, uh, the more suburby area, and it makes sense because we are further away from uh, the commercial district, which is over here. And so as we move through that uh, and up northwards, you'll see like we have a, a little bit smaller shops here and then smaller houses you got duplexes and then small houses and then we start moving towards bigger houses and i might place a mansion or two somewhere that'd be kind of cool to do a mansion Um, in terms of building for most of these, I think Merlinus12 and I will be uh, sitting out for most of the building stuff, except for the quest-related stuff. So I keep talking about the forest and the hermit. The, the forest is going to be like completely wrecked. There's nothing there. It's just like big bombshell holes. And uh, But there will be a hermit living on a hill. And one of the things that the um, previous survivors, wherever they may be, You'll probably find out what happened to them at one point. Uh, but one of the things that they wanted to do was check on the hermit, make sure he's okay. Um, and then if you make the trek there, you might find some nice stuff. So things like that, the store elements or and the quests and stuff like that, uh, Merlinus and tw uh, 12 and I will be building those for sure. Um, I said I was going to do a community center. Let's just label community center. Just because I'm lazy. And we'll spell it Canadian style. Because that's how I roll. That's how I roll. These words are too big. Because that's how it rolls. Let's make it a little bit smaller. It's too small. Okay, there you go. Whatever. Please move for me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna make a community center. Maybe a pool or something. Basketball cart. Basketball cart. Basketball court. Um, yeah, it doesn't hurt to have a community center. And then across over here, we have a sports facility. Sure. Sounds about right. I mean, they're basically the same thing, but maybe the wording will encourage people to build something slightly different. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, more small shops over here, I reckon. More small shops here, here. Or actually, we need apartment buildings, don't we? Let's, let's do some apartment buildings here. I figure we can probably do two by twos. Yeah. So this apartment will building will look over here, because that makes a little bit of sense. Apartment buildings around the uh, small shop commercial area, and we'll have to find a new color for them though. Hello. Thank you. Something that I can split 
the right in half, which would be these guys. There Derp, derp. Herp, derp. Thou shalt herp thy derp. Me and selection tools never get along. We, we try, but it's hard sometimes, you know? I don't get this. Where do they go? Oh, hello. Why are you over here and why are you so tiny? That is very, 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 very strange. I swear to God, I'd be back over here. Okay. <laughs> Me and selection tools, we never get along. They just don't like me very much. Okay. Oh, perfect fit for once. Thank you. I have no idea. I'm running out of colors here. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Puke yellow. Yes. Puke. And let's use, I don't know. Actually didn't look that bad. Okay, I'm running out of time here, but <clears throat> I'm gonna just try to finish this last little bit here and I'll maybe do the commercial plaza while I'm at it too. I wonder if that makes sense to have so many apartment buildings next to each other. Oh well. Some of them will look gaudy, some of them will look fancy. Some of them will be curvy, some of them will be just straight up and downsies. Probably have more shops here or something. Haven't really decided. Uh, yeah, definitely have shops along here. This is a commercial plaza. Haven't decided how to do that. I mean, well, we'll just assign a lot to whoever um, requests for it, and they can go crazy. And then we'll just take a look afterwards to see how well it is. We will give them uh, basic instructions, and of course, there'll be the building regulations to follow. This is actually pretty much it, I think. That's oops. Let's take off the grid yeah well, that looks pretty filled out uh, that should be enough right now um, even if we get like 20 people helping out there will be plenty of spaces for them to do something to work with for now and uh, I'll decide what I want to do with these other areas okay so we'll cut the video over here for now and uh, oh yeah I promised I was gonna show you guys the city so let's get over to that Hey guys, okay, let's take a look <clears throat> at this city, and oh yes, it looks so pretty. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, the spawners in there right now, i got to replace them because there's pig spawners. And oh wow, he put dirt here. Um, let's see. Yeah, I get to be the city planner while Merlin is, gets to do the dirty work and lay down the actual stuff that I put out. And wow, you can pretty see <laughs> pretty far. I should probably just gather a whole bunch of dirt, actually. I should have gave myself a shovel or something. Um, the roads themselves only go down about, I think, 25 was the number we uh, agreed upon. And the reason for that is there's a subway system underneath, and there's going to be room for sewers and maybe power lines or whatever. Power doesn't really quite work that well in um, Minecraft, but we'll work with it. We'll, we'll figure out what we exactly we want to do. The uh, road, of course, is made out of <clears throat> uh, made out of bedrock, so it's unbreakable. Uh, the sidewalk you can break, but you can't really get that far. Uh, you, oh, I thought I embedded this further in. Um, I will have to do that. I, I was going to embed them. We're going to put the spawners roughly about. Whoopsies. Ooh, major lag there. 
Um, what's going on? Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't know what happened there, but anyways, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to put the spawners roughly about 32 apart, that way um, most of them will be active, or at, le at least two will be active no matter where you're standing, because uh, spawners work from the 16th, and most buildings will probably have spawners inside them anyways, so that there'll be mobs inside willing to um, give you hugs. Uh, oh, I think he just laid them pretty much right through each other. Let's see if we can get a aerial view. I don't have a fly mod on, so I can't really take a look. Boop, boop, boop. I have no idea what street I am because there's no street signs just yet. And uh, the, another reason why we set the ground only about 25 for the street is so that uh, you guys have about a hundred squares up to the ceiling, although we'll probably request people to avoid uh, actually scraping the sky and touching clouds. Um, let's see, this looks like... It looks like that spawn right there, and that's the town hall. This will probably be Main Street. This is probably 13th Avenue. And uh, yeah, these will be the two small shops area. And the duplexes will be up there, the school, elementary school's there, high school's there. Um, probably a little further up would be, oh, I know what's going on. It's the, um, it's rendering the rest of the chunks. Okay, anyways, here's the town. Um, looks cool. I am looking forward to working with everybody who's interested um, in filling this place up. Till then, um, we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably get a post up um, sometime next week uh, after we divide the lots up properly and settle on that on some basic building regulations. Uh, we'll get a post up and I'll probably make another video just to get you guys, just notify you guys and you guys can uh, start helping us out which will be absolutely grand. Till then guys, stay classy. See ya.